There we go. Hi, it's Jenny Faye with Real Estate One, and this is my newest interview with people and places in Traverse City. And I want you to meet Kathy Ann. Kathy Ann is a seamstress extraordinaire. I have known her for, oh gosh, over 10 years, and she is fabulous at what she does. Thank you so much, Jenny. Oh, you're welcome. Thank so, you Kathy, for having me. introduce yourself, please. I'm Kathy Ann, and my little Hashtag is your favorite seamstress, and I moved here to Traverse City from Marquette in 2012. Very good. Okay. One thing we wanted to talk about today is women entrepreneurs and women in business. Now, Kathy Ann has her own business and has had for how many years now? Since my daughter was two, and she'll be 31 this year, so quite a few years yeah. I've been sewing for people and working for myself. So how did you get started sewing? My grandmother taught me to sew when I was five. Um, Grandma's pearls. Usually have uh, something from Grandma with me at all times. Have a cute picture uh, of her in here. So yes. She used to make all of her own clothes and I used to make Barbie clothes with her <laughs> when I was five. Um, wow. She taught me to lay Barbie on a paper bag and cut it out. and Maybe that's where my eye came from. Um, I have a good eye for altering and I don't personally love to custom sew. I do sometimes, but I really love to alter clothes. Wow. And getting people to fit in their clothes perfect, as you know, mm -hmm. I can fit you in something and you're like, fits like a glove I because know. that's done my a job. Lot of altering for me, yes. <laughs> right? Yes. It's my favorite. I yeah. just love to alter. And a lot of people don't like to alter when they're seamstresses, mm -hmm. but I like the puzzle of the alteration and I love to alter. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. So what advice would you have for women who are thinking about getting into business for themselves? Because it's scary, you know, to do that. It is very scary. Um, one of the big things I feel is that when you're going to rent a space, mm -hmm. make sure if you're working for yourself, you can afford to make your rent in like two to three days of your work. Oh, that's a good idea. Because otherwise, you're working the whole month just to pay your rent. Mm -hmm. And then you're not making any money. Right. So you should be able to make your rent in two to three days. Okay. That um, makes a lot of sense. Right? Mm -hmm. And you should have a lot of, I shouldn't say a lot, but at least four to six months income behind you when you're starting your own business is what I have found because you don't know how long it's going to be before you start making money. Right. And in your job, with the, you're making the commission, mm -hmm. um, in my job, which is, you know, I have to get their items done before people come to pay me. Right. So it is good to have a good stockpile of money mm -hmm. as a woman in business, for sure. That's true. So right. if you're getting money from a bank, you make sure that you get enough so right. that you're covered, mm -hmm. so that you're not going to run out of money your first year mm -hmm. or six months. And it takes a while to get established in a business. It does. You Absolutely. can't think that you're just going to open your doors and be busy and make money in the first week that you're in business. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. And in my business in real estate, it could be six months before I get paid. Right. Or I could get paid every month. It just depends on you know how busy I am. And Correct. So on. Correct. And how so. the housing market goes. Mm -hmm. And... Right. Yeah. There's a lot of variables for every business. Yep. I happen to be in a service-oriented business that I'm very blessed to be able to do. Mm -hmm. And there's not a lot of people who do what I do. Right. So I'm always very busy. Which is really good. Which is very good. Yeah. Yes. I'm very blessed with a lot of work. One other thing that I would recommend for people, women that are trying to get into, the, um, into work for themselves, is to get a mentor. And to really yes. talk, have someone that is, it doesn't even necessarily have to be in the same line of work, but knows how to run a business and how to do a budget and how to, to do a marketing plan and all of that and get a, a, a mentor to really help you. I completely agree with you. Mm -hmm. I did not have a mentor as far as my sewing business went, but I always felt like Graham was on my shoulder oh. overseeing me. And I do think that other women should definitely help other women in mm -hmm. business. Absolutely. I think that if there was a mentor program in Traverse City, maybe you and I should head that up. There Jimmy. you go. <laughs> <laughs> we could meet once every three months with women who are interested in having a business. You know, I would not be opposed to that. I would not be opposed to that either. Okay. Your business or my business, we got room for both in okay. both places. Absolutely. <laughs> so. Oh, 
Oh gosh, this has been a pleasure. Absolutely. Thank you so much for chatting with me. You are welcome. So if you have any alterations or things like that, call Kathy Ann. She is the expert and the best, I will tell you. Oh, thank you so yeah. much. And thank you for chatting with me. Oh, you're welcome. So if people want to get a hold of you, how do they do that? Well, I'm a 906 girl. Since I'm from the UP, I kept my 906 number. So I'm 906-250-7980. But Ginny is one of my bestest customers that I've had for 10 <laughs> years, but I mostly only do wedding gown alterations mm -hmm. now. And I also do wedding gown preservation where I clean and preserve the dresses. Mm -hmm. I don't personally, I send it off to New York City. But I do do those things here and any bridal formal wear, Ginny wears a lot of formal dresses, so she comes to me often with those. So thank you so much. You're welcome. Where are you located? I'm at 2785 North Garfield Road. I'm across from McLean Cycle. I'm up with Don Rutt Photography. Mm -hmm. Don's been here for a lot of years, like yeah. over 30 years. And a lot of people know where Don's business is, so I always mention him when I'm mentioning where I'm located. Well, plus you've got a big sign out in front that says Kathy Ann, and you yes. can't miss that, which is really good. <laughs> it doesn't say your favorite. Favorite seamstress, under it, but. <laughs> no, but it should. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank it's you been a so pleasure. Much. And if anybody's interested in having people as a mentor, call us. We're yes, happy to do that. Absolutely, <laughs> we may start that going. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you, and we will talk to you again soon. Bye now. Bye.